Hey, I'm going to do a glow up. I'm just going to be sick and tired of looking like this, to be honest. Like, I just don't look good. Just a bit ugly overall. Ugly! This is also a completely original idea that came up this by myself. Um, it just kind of came to me in the middle of the night. So that's what we're going to do today. I wrote a list because there's literally that much to do. I've got a lot to get through here. So I need to shower and put in a hair mask, do a ginger thing on my nose. It's all on TikTok. Do a face mask, moisturize, dye eyebrows, fake tan, tea strip, wash off my tan, my hair mask, pull out my hair, do a lip mask, put on makeup, and then have an outfit. And this all needs to be done by tomorrow, so we've got about. 17 hours. First I hopped in the shower, fresh and clean. I would just want to stop with a scene. Now be careful. Which okay, I've showered. I put in my hair mask. Um, I think I put in a bit too much. You might use about that much and I just completely forgot and squirted a bunch of my hands. So my hair is a wee bit drenched in it. I don't really have much to say about the hair mask. It's this one right here. I couldn't really tell you what it does. But my hairdresser told me to buy it and then so I bought it. That's all I really got to say about that. This here is the ginger mix. So I saw this on TikTok and everyone in the comments like don't do it, it burns your skin. It's meant to get your blackheads out. But to be honest, like it burning your skin kind of sounds quite good to me like when people say it burns your skin i don't know about you but that makes me want to do it more like i feel like it'll actually work if it burns your skin do you know what i mean this is it here so i'm just gonna okay i think it needs more water it honestly smells really nice like i quite like gingerbread men it's kind of like a something that i used to make around christmas time i just have quite big pores in my nose and honestly i'm so jealous of people that don't there's nothing not really much i can do that is going to reduce them unless i like go to a dermatologist and i don't know the funds for that i really want to try I don't really taste like gingerbread man. Okay, I'm gonna leave this on for 10 minutes. So I want to ask just because I'm curious. I had a dream the other night where I was in a supermarket and basically there was somebody going around stabbing people. That was a general gist of the dream. Because I was in a supermarket and there was people going around, oh, this is really burning. And there was someone going around stabbing people. And this wasn't a dream that I had in the middle of the night. It was a really vivid one. It was my alarm went off at nine in the morning and then I just snoozed it and went back to sleep. And in the period of time that I went back to sleep, I had this dream. So basically what happened is I had obviously didn't hide very well. Classic. I feel like even in my dreams, I know that I really wouldn't do well in a stressful situation like that like I would just kind of stand and accept my fate sort of thing but anyway I attempted to hide and then lo and behold the stabber found me and basically the way that I was hid I was in a kind of big bin my back was facing up like I'd obviously dived head first into this bin and basically I could feel I'd obviously put stuff on top of me but I could feel in person even though this was a dream I could feel in person the stabber taking off whatever was on top of me and then stabbing me in the back but obviously it's a dream like you'd either wake up or you're just like oh this is happening but it's fine because it's a dream I could feel it in person and I know that's been really dramatic but genuinely because I because I was sort of awake anyway because it was probably about 10 in the morning and I was lying on my side so I could physically feel it on my back and then had to roll over because it was sore in person even though it was happening in a dream so obviously I started to ask people and nobody else has any clue what I'm talking about so I googled it and then it does happen apparently but it's extremely extremely rare so maybe I'm just not like the other girls I don't know it kind of disturbs me that it happens and it's happened before and I always remember it really distinctly like i had one when i was in sixth year in school and there was a school shooter going around and i got shot in my dream and i felt myself in person getting shot it was really dramatic right i know i've only done one eyebrow but i need to go take this off because it's honestly burning even though i've taken it off it's still burning maybe should have listened to tiktok comments i don't think it's done the biggest difference i don't know if i can like zoom in on this it's maybe made a bit of a difference but there's probably other actual skincare products that might be better i don't really know what i'm talking about don't listen to anything i'm saying so now i'm gonna do something else um this was given to me by becca for my birthday and this is another thing that it's meant to chemically burn your skin so let's just pile this on top as well like i don't want to do this half-heartedly i did watch a video of a woman putting this on and she used gloves maybe i should avoid my nose area i have already done something to my nose area i don't really know how much i'm meant to put on this is kind of how i used to look when i would come out of pee from school to be honest i am gonna avoid my nose area just because i've already i mean it's still burning so i don't want to put more stuff it's also meant to burn your skin on an area that's already burned down here's to Ronnie. and darchi and Betty and Jughead. I don't really know my thoughts on techno. Sorry, I didn't get that. TikTok now. Because I, I do go on it, like, when I'm bored, it's a good thing to pass time. I didn't realise that you can change your For You page depending on what you kind of like, or you, if you don't like to see something, you can click Not Interested. And I didn't know this until Molly told me. But I feel like that's just, I, I mean... That is a road that could lead you weird places. Like, Taylor's TikTok now is all just frog TikTok. For You pages to pick frogs, which I think I'll just stick to flow in the jeans for now. This is kind of burning my face as well, but I don't know if it's still just the ginger. And now that I look at the ginger, it has actually done like a fairly decent job. I say go for it. Do you know if you want to do it, then just do it. Who's going to stop you? Just don't post it on TikTok because you probably will get abused. Like the girl that I saw do it got so much abuse by all these keyboard warriors. Is it meant to stain your face? I tied my eyebrows once before and it did kind of scare me how dark they went at the start. But they definitely did look better than this. It's just the eye lure one in dark brown. Shut up. Nobody cares. 
So I've done a shower and put my hair mask, done my nose strip, done my ordinary thing. I was meant to moisturize before I did this. I'll do my tan and my tea strip later because I really hate when tan's sticky, so I do it right before bed. Get up 10 minutes to dry and then I just go to sleep in it because I just can't be walking about when my like crevice and my elbow is sticking together. Can I feel like making a cookie in a mug? I don't know why I just thought that. I'm just gonna ruin everything I've done by putting fake tan over my face. I absolutely love fake tan, I can't get enough. Back when we weren't in lockdown, like, I would fake tan at least probably twice a week. I have considered tanning beds, but then I'm just getting the fear that I'm gonna die from them. Like one final destination, don't know if anyone's seen that. In two, skin cancer. I went on TV once and I really badly burnt my nose just from the sun. That honestly, it's just given me the fear ever since. Hi queens, so just later that night I put in my tea strip and then I woke up the next morning bright and early, had a shower. I'm using this spray and I don't really know what it does or what its purpose is but I know it makes your hair like nice when you dry it so I just use it. Okay, so I'm just gonna talk for the rest. This is me saying I look good with a fringe because Becca said I wouldn't choose a big fat liar because look at that. And then I just sprayed the front of my hair and it went all puffy, it didn't really work, but like we just live with it. And now moving on to makeup. So I basically just put on this moisturizer and then put like stuff that makes the moisturizer darker on it because I can't be bothered doing foundation. Put in some gummy bear, I love that. Powder over the concealer and um, put this clip in because I felt like it made me look good. Eyeshadow, just sweep that over. Any color will work, just shove it on. What on earth am I doing here? I actually don't. Oh, bronzer. Right, bronzer. Put it down the nose. I don't really like my nose, and that's the tea. Blush. Um, just like shove that in my cheeks, then I realised I did too much. And just like, um, what's that called? Try and get it off with the other brush. And then I did a TikTok dance, but I forgot it. Charlie D'Amelio is just like violently throwing up right now. Um, that was what I wore. This is a pic that I took. Felt cute, might delete later. And I'm just going to finish with showing you this video that Taylor took. And it was just of this woman who was hosing down her roof. She literally could have slipped and fell, and then I would have witnessed it. 